Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Evil Genius. As I mentioned in the previous video, I was going to hang around and get some money and whatnot, but I think I may have overcooked it just a tad, because what I've done is I kind of left a bunch of people in the world um, plotting and stealing and stuff, and as you can see I've opened up quite a lot of missions. There's a lot of missions all over the place that are available to me now, all these little white dots, and I, I made quite a lot of money. I kind of left it on overnight and got back and I was like okay and um, I had a huge amount of heat in all the countries and whilst I was I had to wait like a couple of hours for it to all to cool down and whilst I did that I kind of got a bit bored and built a few number of things and the first thing I built was uh, this little hotel complex over here which helps keep the tourists busy so they don't meddle in your affairs it's completely unmanned at the moment because I actually need valets to run it so that's one thing I've made an entrance here and um, I decided that those wind tunnel traps were no good, so I've put in some of these pop-up things, which um, they pop up when someone triggers them. They're all triggered from these three pressure pads. It'll pop up with a little cardboard cutout of a guy with a gun, and the agents are like, whoa, and start shooting at it, and like, hang on, that's a cardboard pop-up, and they kind of get confused. I've got loads of doors on here. I've got um, a new strong room on the inside, because literally I couldn't store all this gold in that tiny little room outside. I've put in a little area here, full of bunk beds for all my thousands of millions of uh, workers. I rearranged the freezer and the armory a little bit. There's another entrance over here because there's a helipad over here. Same deal. Loads of doors and these pop-up traps. I went a bit nuts with the locker room because I, I figured out the bunk beds are for people to sleep in and the locker rooms, you need one locker room equals one minion so that's why I've got a total of um, 99 minions in here right now which is uh, of a fair few. I've um, fattened out my control room a little bit. There's six control panels and two memory banks in there now. I went a bit bonkers with the power plant as well. I filled up all this area with power plant and this section down here has got the set of doors and the pop-up things as well. So, um, with that aside, my bonkeriness a little bit over the top. Um, one of the first things I want to do whilst I'm still kind of like uh, free from being hit by people is I'm gonna start sending some guys out into the field to complete some of these objectives. There's some nice items that I actually want to collect like this uh, Ming vase. This is um, actually needs quite a lot of workers over here. Needs nine workers. I'm gonna send out like 20 workers and my henchmen. I can go collect that. I think there's another item I can collect somewhere but I'm not sure where it is. Can't remember. can't even remember what it is. Um, is a painting. Oh, it's the El Presidente one down here. This is also a very difficult one to get, so I'm going to send another 20 odd workers over here in the hopes of getting that. And there's also some other missions around the place which I can complete uh, somewhere, like that one there. That one I can do this one, so I'm going to send some guys over there, like eight guys, ten guys, do that mission. I think there's probably one over here. This one needs three workers, so I'll send a couple of guys over there. Is there any of these I can do in red controlled country? Is this hammer? Um, what about this one? Can I do this one? I'm looking for ones that just require workers at the moment, so I'm going to send some guys over there as well. I've got a huge amount of guys. Actually, that only leaves me with uh, 20 guys in here, which is probably not enough, so I'm going to chill for a minute. I've still got that maid who's actually stood here confused out of her brains. All of her smarts have been drained by the pop-up already. Um, she can just stand there for a minute. I'm going to see if I can complete those missions and then continue with trying to capture this maid. Um, any missions I fail to complete during the LP, I think I'll just go back and re-attempt them uh, off-screen because some of them can take quite a few attempts to do. So, and I've got a ridiculous amount of cash. I kind of just went over the top with that a little bit. I've also got some wind tunnel traps in here. I've got three on each side, so hopefully if, even if they run past them, they get hit by the last one. And they're all triggered. This one will trigger all of these three, and that one will trigger all of these three. So if anyone tries to break in and steal my cash, hopefully they get caught by those wind tunnels. In my power plant, I've got another pop-up thing here. So if someone comes in to try and um, destroy my power generators or whatever, they got, kind of get caught by the spring-loaded pop-up trap and kind of... Uh, buy me a little time, a little bit of time to uh, react to it. Another annoyance 
is this game has a habit of um, glitching out and leaving these briefcases all over the place. And I've got one there, and there's one there, there's one there, and I think there's one over here somewhere. But there might not be. But there, there's briefcases, and no one's come to pick them up. They've just been left there and abandoned. I do believe there's 5,000 gold bars in each one, or $5,000 worth of gold bars in each one. And they just sat there. Those two outside aren't too much of a trouble, but this one here is an, an annoyance, because if I need to rebuild this pressure pad, pad, then I think that briefcase of money will be in the way. So I might have to figure out some way of working around that, whether I have to edit the save file or something daft. I don't know. Anyway, there's my evil genius. He's kind of like improving the loyalty and uh, attention of all the guys working in here. So my chopper is filling up with guys right now. They've all gone in through the door, which will be down there somewhere. Up onto the roof and onto the chopper. So once that's full of my 72 odd workers, which are all getting on board, then they'll head out into the world and start doing my evil bidding. So now you can see these numbers have kind of filled up. The bottom number is how likely you are to get attacked in the area, how well defended they are. As you can see, uh, Antarctica is completely not undefended and it's got a zero rating on cash as well so you can't actually make any money there either. So the Middle East is good because it's got a 9 and a 7 rating, so is the Midwest because it's got a 9 and a 7. Europe's alright, it's got a 9 for money but it's got a 9 for defence as well and same with uh, Southeast Asia down here. So those are the best places to steal from but if anything the Middle East and the Midwest are the best because they've got a lower defence rating. But I don't think I'm going to be doing some, any stealing for quite a while. Good grief, how many guys did I send? There we go. That, that helicopter has somehow got 72 odd guys in it now. Actually, I think 79. And my base looks really quiet. It's almost abandoned. But luckily, I've still got enough guys working in here and enough guys to have a couple of extra men in the armory as well. So eventually I'll be capturing this guy, I'll put this capture tag on it, you can right click and tag people, ignore, um, eliminate, tag capture and weaken, psychologically weaken, makes people forget what they're doing and stand around scratching their heads for a while. So she's got a capture tag on her, and this guy is actually, oh he's coming around to fetch my money but he's probably going to walk past her and be like, oh my god she's got a capture tag on her, and start attacking her, or not. Obviously he's got a much higher priority, he's fetching my money from here, you can see depot contents, a briefcase full of money and that will be because people are out here stealing so let's start with some of these quests, I want this one so we'll go with that, risk is zero so hopefully none, I won't lose any of my guys this guy, this painting I'll probably lose all my guys and fail it um, which one is it here, it's not that one it's this one, earplug so I'll attempt that one as well probably a bad idea to have all these missions going on at the same time, but that's the way I roll. So where's the other one? This one. Forging ahead. I'm going to attempt that one. Where else have I got guys? I've got a guy over here trying to take this Ming vase, which will probably fail, and this one here, I think, is the other one I can attempt. So I've got missions going on all over the place. See the little... let me remove these flashing red things. Um, the ones that are flashing, the ones that are being attempted. As you can see, a whole bunch of guys just died there because it's actually quite a difficult mission. A couple of guys have died there. I wouldn't be surprised if all of these guys die. Or did I have like 20 guys here? And oh, yeah, they're going to fail. So I've succeeded in forging ahead, which was this one here. So I'm going to extract my two guys. And we get like a little radio broadcast live feed from the field telling us what's going on. So that has given us 10 notoriety, or 5 because this one's completed as well. So I'm going to extract those guys too. And as I expected, this one has failed. So I'll reattempt that one off screen, I think. And this one's been successful as well. So I've got 15 notoriety now. Notoriety is effectively good. Looks like I've succeeded in this one as well, so I'll extract these guys from here. Which is actually quite good. And that was a go away message. So, oh, I have actually captured the maid now. She's in one of the holding cells, and I can build an interrogation chair. I'm going to build a set of three of these. Like that. And you can see they've actually got this Ming vase thing, which I've captured. And I'm going to throw this in here. 
so I can move my evil genus out eventually because if you see the kind of circle around it oh it's not showing up now it's blue which means that it'll improve people's loyalty for all the people around it and this guy's actually collapsed from exhaustion because he, he could have gone to have a sleep but I'm guessing for some reason he didn't no idea why anyway now we've captured the maid go away no, and you, go away. Now we've captured the maid, we can actually interrogate her to train up a valet. But I just want to make sure all of these missions finish first. This one's still underway. How much longer is that? That's got another minute and a half left. I haven't got guys anywhere else. But I'll attempt this mission off screen and a couple more. There's a couple more I can do, but I've no idea where they are. If one of these is it. Just looking for ones that only need workers at the moment. But if I fail a mission during an LP, I'll reattempt it off screen, cause just in case it takes like five tries. I don't want you to see me just waiting for recruits to reappear, because as you can see, I've lost almost half my minions during those missions. But they'll slowly refill up to the full 99 capacity, of one every 60 seconds, which could take a while. So they've now delivered my Ming vase, which is a someone might come come and try to steal it back so I'll have to guard it closely but people can interact with it and it raises the loyalty of everyone in the surrounding area so these guys work in here they'll hopefully they'll keep their loyalty up so now we've got an interrogation chair in I'm going to tell people to inter interrogate this maid on the chair which will oh god get used to this control you kind of like hold control and you get ca um, mouse look but it's a bit high on its uh, sensitivity. So this guy is coming to interrogate the maid, he's going to throw her down in the chair, he's going to get ready to kick her, she's going to do some kung fu and he's going to be like, oh what's that up there? Boot her into the chair. So what method of interrogation is he going to use? Looks like he's doing the Michael Jackson, very popular interrogation technique, which is uh, quite disturbing that he's actually using that as an interrogation technique so eventually um, <laughs> he's actually got quite some quite good moves on him now he's going for the symbol attack so that mission was a success showing me a replay of how many guys I lost doing it and um, we now actually have access to the archives which is a little place for your minions to go read and stuff I'm just going to throw a very small one in the end here I'll eventually expand it to have more seats in it, but at the moment I'm just going to have a set of um, two seats like that. Because eventually when I build something here I can have them facing out. But if I do it now then... Uh... And there we go, we've got access to a valet, so... And a whole bunch of other items, control, security, things, training room, handgun cabinet, rifle cabinet, mess hall, staff room, the inner sanctum. So the game has completed its objectives, we've completed this first section and the game is afoot as it were, we actually will be start. oh crap, the heat is actually quite high from here so we might be actually a bit buggered um, by really horrible agents landing on the island so I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled. First things first though, I'm going to set this to build uh, 20, 20 valets, I'm going to ignore the warning about not being able to accommodate them. Um, not a staff room, I don't want a staff room, I want to build a training room as fast as possible so I'm going to throw in a training room like here I think actually no, not there. I'm going to build it a bit further up. Actually, uh, I'm going to put it in like here I guess. Door in. Now the training room items do generate a little bit of heat so let's unpause it so they start knocking it out already. Uh, I'm going to throw in some desks so that my minions can train valets. I'm going to throw in some laboratories, they'll be used later and some punch bags which will also be used later. Um, find a good place to put these, although I've kind of made this a bit too small to actually be of any use. So let's extend it a little bit this way. Crap, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Do that again. Put the door in. Put the door door in. Thank you. And pause it. And then throw in these things again. Uh, some lab desks and some punching bags in the centre of the room I think would be a good place to put these and this mouse maze actually 
increases their productivity whilst they're in there. So that's going to be getting built. I bet there's agents attacking me right now. What are these? They're investigators, so I'm not too worried about those. These guys are investigators. These guys are infiltrators. So these guys, I'll have to keep an eye on these guys because those guys will try and destroy stuff in my base. Hopefully they'll get stopped by my traps and things, but they might try and destroy my traps also, so I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled. Um, I've got to think quickly now. I'm going to pause the game a second because I'm slowing down a little bit. It's too late in the day for me to be concentrating this much on everything. Um, I'm going to fit a corridor coming down here. I can, that's awesome. So I'm going to put a corridor through here. Because one of my next objectives is to build an inner sanctum, which is where my evil genius will hang out. So I'm going to put a door at the end just to make it a little bit more secure. Unpause it. Inner sanctum, where's that? Here's my inner sanctum. So I'm going to build funky long room and in here you put a conference table which is where your evil minion will kind of like sit and have conferences with everyone now on here I want to put a decent door another door just on the outside of there what else can I build um, what else is new mess hall build a mess hall which is where my minions go to have some munches going to put it in here actually along the other side I think throw it in there and have a mess hall counter I'll you'll, you'll see why I've chosen this later on so now that's in place I could move that but that's kind of like ruined my plan um, crap <laughs> uh, ruin uh, change this so it's like that and then put the mess hall counter there and then what I was going to do is move this so that it's facing, I have to move it twice, do that so that it's facing that way and I can put a second one there. Um, can I build anything else at the moment? I think that's it for now. But I can also start building things in the armory, new things in here. So you can build a security desk and when manned then you'll have a security system. Put some handgun cabinets in one set of handgun cabinets and then two sets of rifle cabinets and maybe ooh, go away and maybe one more set of uh, handgun cabinets right so this security system I can put in security cameras various points around my base and so one of them is going to go in here overlooking the power plant one is going to go in this room overlooking my conference room and one looking down the corridor just in case people wander up. One's going to go in the training room and I'm going to put a set of two inside here if I can so the whole room is pretty much covered and then I'll put an alarm in so that people around here will hear the alarm and rush to one of these places and people in here will rush to one of these places. There's not a lot of room for me to put these in so I'm just going to like throw them around dottedly so if anyone's hanging around in there they'll hear the alarm and rush to where the problem is. Um, I think that's about it for now. Just make sure all of these construction things are unpaused. Keep my eye on these infiltrators. Make sure they're not going to do anything nasty. I think that's me done for the time being. Basically I'm just going to chill for a bit longer. Wait for my valets to train up. Wait for the heat to come down in these places because they are ridiculously high at the moment. Especially... Um, in hammer and anvil controlled territories. I'm not sure why. How much heat did this generate? Heat 10. Mm, it's not too high. Why did this one? Probably because the stealing of that thing was ridiculous as well. So I'm going to wait for the heat to wear down in those areas. Wait for this, these things to be constructed. Try and keep my base in what intact whilst all these infiltrators and investigators are around. Wait for my minions to build up again. Wait for my valets to train. Valets are the guys that will actually be working in here, so I might actually have a couple of people working around here. Is that a valet? Who's that? That's a valet minion, so it looks like he's working here. Yeah, he's serving drinks to this guy, who's actually just chilling and um, kind of dancing on the dance floor. I think, or he's just standing there. Don't know what he's doing. Oh, there's another guy down here. Who's this? It's another investigator. But I've got to watch out for guys from Hammer and Anvil, because they might start sending troops in to kind of shoot all my minions so uh, I think I've covered everything 
so until next time when hopefully all this will be built I'll have a new stash of minions and the heat will have dropped and I'll start doing some more objectives which is in here um, I'll see you then so take care